Hi YouTube, this just came in, the G2 Limited Fine 0.7mm Pilot Premium Gel Roller Pin. And this is what we're going to talk about right now. Okay, the Pilot G2 Limited Black Ink Fine 0.7mm Premium Gel Roller. Now the reason I went ahead and ordered this and the reason why I'm making this video and one other video is because this commenter uh, wrote this. From Andre is the name. He says, hey, Ricks, if you want to make the absolute best Walmart gel pen combo, try to put the inner gel ink cartridge into a Pilot G2 limited pen. The end result is what I believe to be the best possible pen you can get from Walmart. I was writing with such a pen a minute before I saw your video. And then after he saw my video, who knows what happened to that pen. No, kidding aside, I went ahead and I ordered the pit because, well... I do read your comments. I do appreciate you watching, subscribing, and commenting. And I read those comments, and you know I reply to a lot of those comments. And when there's ideas in there, I'm going to go ahead and use them. And so I thought I'd go ahead and I'm going to review this G2 Limited, which is an $11 pin. Oh! Oh! No! Pin. But in this video, I'm not going to put the Intergel cartridge in it. But save that for the next video. Yay! Where I take this cartridge out and replace it, and then I will give you a comparison. For right now, this video is just about the G2 Limited. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, before I do, though, let me just go ahead and read you the box because I know a lot of you like me reading the packages. It says the G2 Limited Exceptional G2 Performance Read, defined with an elegant metal body. Mm, yeah, it kind of looks pretty elegant. Then it says... Uh, chrome accents complement the sophisticated matte metallic finish and the comfortable contoured grip. So, yeah, I'll find out if that's really um, comfortable. I can't tell right now. And it says, enjoy years of superior writing with smooth, long-lasting G2 refills. Well, depending on how it goes with uh, today's little test of this pen... And the next one I do with the inner gel, we'll find out if I'll be refilling this with G2s or if I'll be refilling it with inner gels, as uh, Andre is the name suggested. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open this right now. Nothing like a exacto knife to make the job easy. Oh, no, wait a minute. The package. Sorry. So let's just go ahead and... And then I'm going to have somebody comment and is going to say, you know, there's an easier way to open these packages. Well, if there is, please tell me because I don't want to rip the package open. I like to keep it for the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and just slice this puppy open from here. And this is easy enough. It's not like surgery or anything. There we go. And... I can get the pin out that way. This way I can save the package for storing. Okay, look at that. All intact. That's a Rick's can do it for you. All right. Well, let's take a look at this pin. Uh, I'm losing a little light here, so let me shine some light on the subject. As the sun's going down, Okay, I'm going to say this right off the bat. You know, in all my videos, I'm, I say exactly what I think. And this video is going to be no different. But I was thinking, what in the world am I going to do spending $11, $12 on a G2? I mean, come on. G2, right? See? G2. Pilot. But there is a night and day difference here. 
between these G2 Pilots and these G2 Pilot Limiteds. Folks, that's a beautiful pen. I mean, seriously, that is a seriously beautiful pen. this nice metallic body on here these nice chrome pieces they don't feel cheap at all they feel pretty solid now the top part here I don't know if it's plastic or metal but it's very nice it has this nice rubber grip which the G2's are known for and I do know that this is metal because I took one of my magnets As a matter of fact I can tell if the other thing is metal too but you can see that it is metallic. Well, it appears that there is, let's see. Yep. Yeah. There there is it's it's I believe the metallic part may be the chrome plating on the outside of the plastic. Because it's not very strong. This one's much stronger, but it has more paint. So anyway, that is really, really cool. Well, there goes my magnet and one of my fingers. Okay, take a look at that. I'm going to give you some close-ups here. It says, come on, palm shot now, G2 Limited. I want you to look at that metal case. It's a very nice metal case. It's kind of a matted, matted look. The chrome accent right across here. I believe the package even says that says um yeah matted metallic finish that's that's this and that is really really nice that is a beautiful pen i mean that that looks like a pen that you would be proud to put in your pocket when you're all dressed up on an interview to get that rocket scientist job you've always wanted or at least to get into MIT or something. Or if you're one of the one percenters, you might switch. Who knows? That's a really nice pen. Let me get this package out of the way. All right. Let's try the bolt action here. Oh, good. It has, it has a nice feel to it. Uh, it's After it's already been pressed out, of course, then it has virtually no resistance here, just a very weak feeling spring that pops this back up. But then when you click it back, then it's much more substantial and, and solid. So that's cool. Okay, so that works really well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save tearing this pin apart for the next video because I'm going to be changing out the cartridge anyway. So we're going to just forget about tearing this apart right now. We're just going to look at, well, how does it write? How does it feel? It feels really good in my hand. It looks really good in my hand. And now I want to see how does it write? So this is the Pilot G2 Limited. This is black ink. It's called a fine point at 0 0.7 millimeters. Okay. And it's called a premium gel roller. All right. Now, my impression of the actual writing with the pen, the ink of the pen, it smears, as you can see right there. 
smears pretty badly too. Um, is I'm I'm not really overwhelmed by it. It's it doesn't it's not exactly um, you know the best writing experience. It's not bad, but it's not you know it's not like a big deal. And right off the bat, I mean, I let this thing sit for, you know, five seconds, and it still smears. So, like, for example, okay, I'm going to write, uh, where is she? Okay. Eh. You take a look. You can see that it smears. It's smearing. All right, it smears. Okay, I don't like that right off the bat. I don't like that. So, um, if I was going to grade this, I would say in looks, yeah, I would definitely give it like, you know, maybe I better make these stars. In looks, I will definitely give it like a four out of five stars. You know, I, I'd have to be like blown, blown away to get five stars. But for writing... It's more of a two and a half. So there's half a star right there. How's that? Two and a half. Um, I'm not impressed with the ink. I'm not impressed with the, the feel of the right. I'm not impressed with the look. Um, it's just pretty standard fare to me. Now I'm going to grab a regular G2 Pilot. This is a blue one here. I don't have black ones. Okay. Now I could tell you that the limited is much smoother than the regular plastic ones. Uh, the and they're both 07s, by the way. This is also an 07, as you can see. Um, so this plastic one is definitely uh, doesn't glide or feel as smooth. It feels much rougher on paper. Um, than the limited. So the limited is definitely smoother. It has a much more uh, refined roller tip than the uh, least experienced uh, sibling that's in plastic. So they've improved in its feel as well as its look. It does go on smooth. You can, you can definitely feel this glides real smooth. So the problem I have is the ink uh, for this for the most part. Um, Yeah, it's to me it's too wet. Now, if I was to uh, see, try to find that one pin that uh, I recently did a uh, test on. Let's see, here we have the Uniball Signal, for example, and uh, this is the one where I believe they. Yeah, that's a nice black ink there, and that does not smear at all. So. Let's try that real quick here. I have two black ink pens. We'll bring this out a little bit so you can see. Okay. So first, the limited. The Uniball. All right. You can compare. The limited on top and the uniball. The uniball had a minor right there. I didn't give it a second to dry in either case. This comes out much wetter, takes longer to dry uh, for the limited. So this is this here is not a quick drying ink as compared to, for example, this uniball. And then we have this. Inner gel, which I'm going to swap into here. And that doesn't smear at all. You didn't get to see that, did you? No, because it's off camera. Try this again. Okay. No smear. And you can see how quickly after I wrote it, I came back to smear in both cases. 
So right off the bat, I can tell you that the inner gel ink is better. But I'm going to save that for the next video. Anyway, I think it's a great looking pen. I think it writes really nice as far as the feel of the roller. It feels good on the hand. Uh, to me, I'm, a, I'm not comfortable with the weak, limpy part there after you've already got the thing out. I, I would rather it still had good resistance there. Like, for example, this one here, it just stays down. So I like that. So when you do this, it doesn't feel like you're shaking someone with fish hands. This one here, it gets kind of fishy at that point. Uh, but I don't like the ink. So that's it with my review of the G2 Limited. And stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to actually put the inner gel. And I have two inner gels that I'm going to use. And I'm going to put it in this G2 as suggested. And let's see if it does in fact become a much better pen. Well, hey, if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. It encourages more videos. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you'll know when the next ones come out. Leave comments below because you know that I'm reading them and responding to you. Thank you for your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.